Kino shows you all video, audio and image files on your drives in a simple browser-like user interface. You can register any folder in the workspace section for faster access similar to bookmarks in a web browser. The drill down function is activated through the drill down button, the context menu or keyboard shortcut and shows you the media files in a folder structure in a flat view which you can then filter using text search applying to file names and tags and all other descriptive metadata including markers or rich choice of filters available in the filter menu. This way you can quickly find shots buried in hundreds of production or stock footage folders based on any combination of date, ratings, tags, descriptions, resolution, frame frame rate, codec and other criteria. You can do that instantly without setting up any catalogs or database structures. Your storage essentially becomes a searchable and browsable media pool that you or your entire team can learn to use in minutes. You can switch between a thumbnail and a list view. The thumbnail view is better for visual browsing and selection, whereas the list view is better for QC processes where you list, filter, sort or process files based on their metadata. The metadata columns can be customized to include all relevant technical or descriptive metadata. The player is integrated in the detail view of any video or audio file that you can open by double clicking the file's thumbnail. The standard controls of the player are straightforward. The content tab on the right shows a visual preview of the video's content and can be used for instant navigation. Camera LUTs, for example for log footage, can be applied through the view menu and allow playing back the material with applied LUTs in real time. Accurate slow motion playback is available through the player speed menu. Clip level metadata can be edited in the detail view. Markers can be set using the marker button or the M keyboard shortcut Press M twice to enter title and description for the marker. Subclips, that is metadata describing a specified time range within the clip, can be added by setting in and out point and then using the S keyboard shortcut. Press S twice to enter title and description for the subclip. Clip level metadata can be added for multiple clips in one step by using the edit multiple function. Tags can also be applied to multiple clips at once in a similar way. All metadata created this way is automatically shared with other team members accessing the same storage. To send clips including metadata to Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, select the clips and use the respective Send To context menu entry. Metadata will be translated so it's understood by the respective NLE. That means you can use the same metadata for editing projects in different NLEs. The Avid Media Composer integration uses ALE export and importing markers via copy and paste. Kino ships with dozens of predefined transcoding presets for batch transcoding to proxies, dailies or intermediates. Just select the files you want to transcode and select the preset to use. Then select the output folder and the naming preset. The naming engine, common to all Kino batch export or rename functions, has a number of predefined presets and lets you build your own ones with powerful metadata support. You can now either start the batch or adjust more settings like basic video settings such as resolution or bitrate, or filters like the automatic application of LUTs or burn-in timecode. A very powerful mechanism is to build your own custom transcoding presets for individual workflows. These presets can also be shared with the rest of the team. To create a checksum verified backup of a camera card, a drive or a folder, you simply select it in the tree and select copy and verify in the menu. Then you select one or multiple destinations for your backup. 
A destination can either be a drive or a specific folder. That gives you the flexibility to organize your backup process as you prefer it. Kino remembers the destinations and for your next backup will default to the same locations, making it a super fast, convenient workflow to copy card after card. You can specify a backup name, which will then be used as the folder name for the backup if you want it to be different from the name of your camera medium. You can also do fast incremental backups if you don't delete your cards after offloading, for example to do a first backup during a shooting break. And you can backup any device or folder using this function, not just camera cards. Mastering these features doesn't take long at all and will increase your productivity within hours or days, but there's lots more so continue discovering and watch our other tutorials about advanced Kino features and workflows. There's a lot to gain. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kino and click on the linked videos to find out more.